for example, if I have a label named exit, and you have to use like a column at the end. So if I have this exit label somewhere here in my code, this is just a label. And if I wanted to use a go to statement, go to exit. Uh, it's not available in Java. Java does not have a go-to state. So that's 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 one observation. Another observation is that you can still have labels, and uh, you can do it with loops. But uh, let me say break exit. Uh, no, you you cannot do it in a, in a switch statement. If I had a loop of some sort here, I could and the ne another nested loop, there are labeled break statements and labeled continue statements that allow you to jump out of the loop, but uh, not in this case. So Java basically tells, don't use go to statements and don't rely on labels that much. Instead, so this is not possible. So uh, instead, just uh, create alternatives in the flow in your program, which would just uh, use other facilities like break your code into multiple methods and make method calls from different places and but don't don't use go to there is no go to go to is a reserved word but but not permitted by java that's the approach that java takes uh, for the go to so that covers uh, some of this uh, stuff related to uh, to the switch state now i would also say if I if I go back to an integer is is perhaps the most typical uh, typical uh, I'll, I just modify to use to use integers again. So if I decided to say uh, one and two, it should print uh, yes, and three and four it should print no. Then uh, and I switched back to next int to get integer from the user. Then um, uh, one other thing I want to mention uh, regarding the switch. And I forgot what it was. Simplify it back like that. Switch. What else wanted, what I wanted to mention here? If I remember, I will go back to it, I guess. Um, oh, I... I just remembered. Uh, using case labels uh, which are hard coded like 1, 2, 3, and 4 is really kind of uh, an ill way to express your choices. Uh, perhaps what you should be doing is that someplace in your class you need to declare uh, constants and use name constants. So perhaps what, what most people would do in the in the more or less maintainable and presentable uh, code, uh, they would say a static uh, final int uh, choice uh, one equals one. I mean, this most likely going to be a much better name, right? But at least I'm specifying that I'm using choice one, and then maybe I'm using choice. Uh, a choice two, right, and change it to two, and choice three, and uh, change that to three, and four. So that way, uh, it's recommended to, that you create named constants, and constant in Java is created by the final keyword final keyword has actually two purposes that uh, it can be used with methods that cannot be overridden in the hierarchy of objects or uh, um, you can create a constant variable and so here instead of using one two three I would actually use the named uh, constants again this is still kind of abstract because I'm not gaining anything because it still says three four uh, 
and one and two, um, but uh, basically imagine that this was uh, uh, a menu of some sort and this was named an exit, right? So this is much, much better, uh, you know, alternative to using four in this location as opposed to saying choice, exit, or quit, or submenu, or something that makes sense for the rest of the program. And this way, if you decided to change this at some point, uh, you have only one place where the change has to take place. So I could change this to 55, and that's all I have to do. Everywhere else where I'm using this uh, constant, the value is instantly changed, and now it's 55. So I know it's 55 when I initialize it, but how many people will will know if I was using 55 over here and uh, thinking, what is the significance of 55? What is 55? Nobody knows. But if, I, uh, if I'm careful with what I do and use name constants, it's a much, much better alternative. So I would strongly recommend, even this, in the smallest program, like this one, abstract, not doing much, use name constants for in place of any hard-coded value. This is just the way of life. This is the way to make your code readable, to keep your own sanity in check, and so forth. So hopefully that convinces uh, every one of us that it's, it's a much better approach. And switch statement is the one that you want to, to do it this way. Uh, even with strings, you, you should probably say this, static, uh, just not used to this keyboard at all. Uh, static um, final a string uh, choice choice uh, uh, yes for example right and just you know just initialize it so same thing can be done with strings as opposed to using uh, hard coded strings which are easier to read but still if you decided to change it somehow in the future it'd be much more difficult to make that change of a string, double-coded string, literal, elsewhere in the code, as opposed to just one place where a, uh, a, a constant variable is created with the sole purpose of using more descriptive name for this. So anyway, uh, next, uh, things, next thing to discuss. By the way, any, any more questions about the switch statement? So try using it. I'm sure many people will, will like it. Um, uh, formatting currency. So a big decimal uh, uh, class was used to manipulate the computation and precision at which the computation was taking place. For instance, remember when we did some, uh, when we uh, when we um, work on our homework for um, doing a precise temperature converter, the formulas would require you to multiply and divide and add and subtract all those things. But especially with, with when you divide, if you don't provide the the scale for the division operation, and if you ended up with an endless fraction. Uh, then uh, the, you you will get an exception. So uh, big decimal comes with its own territory of how things should be done, and it's very useful class. But how about simply just formatting output? If we if we deal with doubles, if we deal with big decimals, we want to be able to perhaps rely on some some sort of default precision or default behavior of a double floating point. But we want to be able to format the output very nicely, right? So sometimes we want to round to the whole number. Sometimes we want to show sense, like with this case, formatting currency. But sometimes you also want to show uh, uh, longer fractions. And so that uh, is uh, something that we need to know how to do. So um, another um, useful class is the number format class which comes from Java text library. So let's try this, right? So we, uh, we can, um, actually, let's, let's try this little example here. Couple of imports, 
that I will add to my sample. So a couple more imports that I will add right here. In import number format and locale. And then in my code someplace, I will try to use big decimal and the number format uh, together, those two. So let's see, perhaps after the switch statement, somewhere here I can paste this in. Oh, big decimal was never important. So let's try fix imports, right? And that fixes them by placing big decimal. Uh, that comes obviously from the map library. So it's uh, it's sometimes it's painful to remember which part of the library uh, those classes come from, which package. So um, you know, text is for the number format, math for big decimal, util and uh, and util again for locale and scan. So let's see, um, big decimal payment. So let's uh, try this and see if uh, if this will compile. I have an extra extra parentheses here, which I don't need in that sample. So um, when you have a uh, big decimal or, or, or double, we'll, we'll try either either of those. Uh, so we say, okay, the payment is $1 million right here. You know that we prefer to initialize uh, big decimal values with strings, strangely, with strings, because that way you get precise representation inside big decimal as opposed to a strange fraction sometimes which will look uh, somewhat, uh, um, uh, you know, strange when you try to print it. We, we tried it last week. So the number format uh, provides you some choices, this class. Let's see what the choices are. So you can get the currency instance of it, you can get the percent instance, and you can get just the number instance. And uh, the three methods there are format, set minimum uh, digits uh, for the fraction, basically the precision, and set the maximum digits for the, for, for the fraction. And so um, uh, you can work with real numbers, which means floating point numbers. You can work with currency, and you can work with percent. So um, you can um, uh, use it. Uh, basically, the, to use the number format class, uh, you need to pass it a value uh, first. Even like, let me rephrase this. Let me first say 